Yes. Oh, it's the middle of the night. I... What? Oh. Yes. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> government has its secret service branch. America at CIA, France, Deuxième Bureau, England, MI5. A messy job? Well, that's when they usually call on me or someone like me. Oh, yes. My name is Drake. John Drake. I was between flights at London Airport when Hardy called. His precise bureaucratic voice demanded that I call on him immediately. I had nothing to lose. Ever heard of Vanessa Stewart? Possibly. Have you ever been to a place called Betch Jabrin? I might have. Drake, do you ever answer a question with a simple yes or no? Simple? They're the most complicated words in the language, Mr. Hardy. There's a photo of Vanessa Stewart. Mm. Is it uh, recent? Yes, last summer at Ascot Racing. Mm. Looks like Wyndham with her. Lord Wyndham it is. But I'm only interested in Vanessa Stewart. She got out of this country three days ago, jump ahead of my men. <laughs> you must teach your men to jump more quickly, Mr. Hardy. Where'd she jump to, Beth Chabra? Yes, and we've got to get her back. Now, we've tried extradition, we've tried fraud and bad check charges quietly. She must have a powerful protector out there. The warrant has been shelved. What do you really want her for, Mr. Hardy? Espionage, possibly high treason. A small difference. As you are no doubt aware, Miss Stewart has friends and influence everywhere. A short time ago, she made a trip to Athens and she returned on her British passport. While she was there, her actions were of considerable embarrassment to my government. Now, if we can prove that her activities while she was out of the country were made under the protection of her British passport, that is high treason. You must get that passport. I'm sorry, Mr. Hardy, but you'll have to get uh, someone else to unsnarl your uh, some other way. I'm tired. I just got back from Ankara and Look, I... Drake, let's make it personal. You will earn my undying gratitude. Well, how much is it worth? Five thousand? Five thousand dollars? Oh, pounds sterling. And another five thousand for the passport. Huh? It's a lot of money. Yeah, it is, isn't it? You want me to refuse, don't you? You don't want to do the job. All right. I accept your offer. Mr. Hardy, I am never going to forgive you for this. No. A local man in Betsy Abrin is called Nicolaides. Nicolaides. You will use the code name Lorenzo. Lorenzo. On arrival in Betsy Abrin, you will... Certain keys, they stick. What keys? I'll show you. Also having trouble with these. See what I mean? Come back tomorrow. It will be ready then.
Listen, I'm glad you're here. They don't answer me. Who? The office. What office? The London office. My expense account, every month, the same delays. How do they expect me to function? I'm sorry, you're speaking to the wrong man. I'm Mr. not a rich Lydie. man. I have a family, responsibilities. Every Thank month, you. my reports go in like clockwork. But when it comes to paying... Oh, all right, I'll mention it, Mr. Look Nicolaides. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll show you. It. Last month, uh, lunch at the Hotel El Minza with Ragozin. He's here on that crude oil deal for the other people. 1,600 piastres. The information alone was worth ten times that. Drinks at the Club Mocambo with Fern at 1450 piastres. Well, I'll do what I can for you, I, Mr. I Nicolai. wish you would. They tell I will attention. speak to your chief. Thank you. She don't speak English. All right, Mr. Nicolaides. Now, uh, about the woman. Oh, yeah, the woman. She arrived in Mr. Ramphy's private plane. She's staying in Mr. Ramphy's villa. Ramphy the copper man? Shipping oil, cotton, manganese, tin, the El Minza Hotel, and the best job in police department. A very wealthy millionaire. What does he know about the extradition warrant? He ordered the police to file it under F for forget. Well, he's married, isn't he? Ramphy? Yeah, an open scandal. Everybody's so sorry for his wife in a malicious sort of way. She needn't worry. The other woman won't be stopping long. As soon as she can arrange it, she intends to move further east. With the help of the other people. Mm -hmm. uh, who's their local agent? I, I don't know. I, I forget there have been so many changes. It could be Bechter or uh, Glitkin. No, no. Glitkin is now the local agent for Turkey. But they've not actually made any move to get her out. No. She waits for a contact. Well, I can't understand why they just don't go to her. That can't be easy. Mr. Ramph is a very jealous man. I imagine he has a well guarded like his other possessions. I'd uh, like to see the Ramphy villa. Okay. Um, thank you. Thank you very much. Very nice. Thank you. Oh. That's it. Well, that one? Yeah. Ah. Mr. Ramphy does himself very well, oh, isn't he? Oh, very it's nice. Beautiful villa with guards and electric fences. Mm. Does she ever leave? Once in a while, the casino. But always at the Mr. casino? Ramphy. Yeah. But with Mr. Ramphy and his wife. Are any other guests? Oh, always many. Oh, all you have to do, Mr. Nicolaides, is find out who the local agent for the other people is and keep me constantly informed of his movements. Can, can I depend on you for that? Like government bonds. I am loyal, reliable, discreet. All I have to do is to get the woman out of here onto a plane and deliver her to London with no scandal. Oh, as I can't work outside the villa, I have to work inside. Inside? But how? As, uh... Mr. Ramphy's guest, of course. How else, Mr. Nicolaides? Let's go. Nicolaides found out who the agent for the other people was, kept a watch on him to alert me for the arrival of the contact man who had come to take her east. For the next three nights, it was necessary for me to play the casino. No sign of Vanessa Stewart or Ramphy. I did, however, spot two or three men who I was sure were agents. I could tell by the trusting, innocent look in their eyes. Then I saw her. She was in possession of the shoe at the Shemi game. Behind her stood the legendary Ramphy. His wife held the chair next to Vanessa. No, 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 no. Play it all. Don't be cheap. Play it all. Place your bed. Where Vanessa Stewart was, there was trouble. Already, Ramphy was quarreling with his wife. Sonne mille à la banque. Banco. Banco. Oui. Nine. 
your husband intends to marry Vanessa Stewart. What? Now, that is where our interests coincide. I've been sent here to prevent this. I will get her out of your house and away from here, but I must have your help. Now, if you're interested, you'll meet me tomorrow noon, 46 Avenue, Lebanon. It's a typewriter shop. Ask for Lorenzo. Forgive the intrusion. that my shot would have gone straight through your heart. That is, if you'd been wearing the coat and assuming you have a heart. Yes, I have a heart and it would have passed right through it. But why the dramatic entrance? Why didn't you call me on the phone? You know, I'm always pleased to see you. Uh, Sonny. Not any closer, please. We can no longer be friends now. We are on opposite sides of the fence. Why, what happened? Sonia went home to see her father. I begged her not to, but she went. How could I stop her? She didn't come back. So I went to see what happened to her. That's just what they were waiting for. Now they have Sonia, and I must do what they tell me. Hmm. What do they tell you to do in Beth Chabrin? We are on the same mission, John. Oh? Only this time we are not on the same team. That's why I hid here. That's why I put the hole through your jacket. If I'd done my duty, I put the hole through you. But I have so few friends left in the world. I said to myself, it would not do to shoot one of them. Then I said to myself, Johnny Drake is an honest guy. When he knows how I could have killed him, he will say, I owe that funny little jerk Stashik my life. All right, so I owe that funny little jerk Stashik my life. Now, what next? Well, then, you would say, if he had shot me, I would be finished on this mission anyway, so I'll go back home and leave the field to him. No. But it's fair. I could have killed you. Uh, yeah, but you didn't. Now, be reasonable, Johnny. I still have the gun. Yeah, but you're not going to use it. Why not? Because we're friends. That's blackmail. Yeah, that's right. But Sonia. Yeah. Do they know that you know me? No. Do they know that you were coming here tonight? No. All right, I'll tell you what you do. You leave now. We each play the game in our own way and uh, see who wins. No, that's not playing fair. Oh, now, fair or unfair, you know, you're a romantic stash. No, you're cheating. You must promise. No. Goodbye, John. I wish I didn't have no friends. Sure, I would come. Well, you had to. Why? Because you want to keep your husband. How do you know that? Well, you do want to, don't you, Mrs. Ramphy? How can I know what you say is true? You're afraid to gamble on it's not being true. That's why you came. How do I know my husband hasn't put you up to this? Who are you? It doesn't matter. It matters to me. I must know who you are. Oh, Mrs. Ramphy, if you insist, I can give you any number of stories. But now, are you interested in stories or results? All right. What do you want me to do? Good. Now, 
You will invite me to be your guest at the villa. Here is a letter introducing to you James Denton, attorney. Now, that's me. It says I'm coming to speak to you about some family business. But it's postmarked in London. Well, I have a small do-it-yourself post office kit. Now, I will ring you tonight at the villa. You will invite me to stay. Is that clear? How do you plan on getting rid of Venice, Stuart? Oh, the less you know, the more honest will be your reactions. You might just be part of a scheme to rob the house. I might. Or even hired by one of my husband's enemies to kill him. Possibly. Call me. I'm obliged. Mrs. Ramphy, thank you very much. Oh. Nice All right, you. the lady is just going. But that was... Uh, yes? She's working for you? For herself. Now, I've been invited to the villa, but you must let me know the minute that the other people show up. Mr. Jack, the other people, they have shown up. You sure? Yeah, they sent a man to pick up Vanessa Stewart. To Vanessa Stewart, Baltic Trading Company. That's the other people? Yeah, they cover Baltic Trading. Where'd you get this? From the contact man. We'll have to send another one. You killed him? Yeah. That wasn't necessary. Necessary? I, I don't know. I, it was safer. And if it wasn't necessary, well, I, I apologize. You apologize? I'm so hungry. I've had nothing to eat since 7 o'clock this morning. I think I'll have two eggs. <coughs> eggs are now 100 piastres a dozen. How do they expect a man to live? Mr. Drake, would you like an egg? No, no thanks. Tea? Mr. Nicolaides, apart from anything else, it was a mistake. Eh? Killing that contact man was a mistake. Well, they won't find the body for two or three days. That's I want you to code a cable. Get it off immediately to London. Attention of Hardy. Urgent. Dear Sarah, call Uncle George. Must have plane ready departure. Tell him little Lorenzo would like a kite. From here, tomorrow afternoon at five. Here for his fifth birthday tomorrow. Mr. Drake, do you expect her just to step onto the plane? Continue the cable. Special instructions for Uncle George. Has Mr. Denton arrived? Yes, he's upstairs. What does he want? What is that business he's doing in London for your family? I don't know yet. He hasn't had time to tell me. I think it's something to do with our properties. Oh, hello, Mrs. Ramphy. This is Mr. Denton, Miss Stewart. Miss Stewart, and how do you do? Mr. Ramphy, my husband. How do you do? Hello, Mr. Denton. You like Betcha Brin? Oh, very good. good. A drink. drink. Yes, I'll fix your drink. Thank you very much. I have a special cocktail, one of my own inventions. Gin, anisip, creme de cacao, slivovich, and three other ingredients which I keep a secret. I promise not to spy. You're here on business from my wife, her family. What business? I'd rather not bore you with it, Mr. Ramphy. Business never bores me. You see this house? That yacht down there. Miss Stewart can tell you about my private plane. Two pilots, one Stewart. So why should business bore me? Vanessa, you're troubled. Something troubles you. What is it that troubles you? I think Miss Stewart is trying to remember where we've met before. So, this is true, you've met before? A uh, casual meeting, which I regret to say Miss Stewart hardly remembers. It was last summer at Ascot. Uh, we were introduced by Lord Wyndham, you remember? Ah, Lord Wyndham. Yes, uh, I follow society in the Tatler and the Illustrated London News. Here, Miss Stewart of the Derby, the famous English race. And here, Miss Vanessa Stewart with lords and ladies. Very nice. And royalty. Oh. It's all very interesting. In this country, we have no such society. I, I miss it greatly. What do you think of my cocktail invention? Excellent. Well, drink up. I'll fix you another one. Or perhaps later. Well, in that case, excuse me. I must have a shower. I take four or five showers a day. It's a passion with me. And you must excuse me, too. Dinner will be at eight, Mr. Dent. Thank you, Mrs. Ramsey. Where do you pour these cocktails? 
We never met at Ascot. I had to cover up for you. He saw you staring at me. You're not very bright, are you? I suppose that's all we can expect from amateurs. I don't know what you're talking about. Listen, I have more important things to do. I don't know why they bother with you. You're no use anymore. But somebody up there, way up there, must like you very much. Now, my assignment is this. To get you out of Beth Jarbrim before the British succeed in whisking you off to London. I want you to be ready to leave at a minute's notice. Don't ask any questions. Just do as you're told. You're incredible. You know that. Utterly incredible. You come in here and you expect me to... Now. I think you're a total loss and a dead nuisance. I told that to my people, but the order came down, bring her out of Beth Jarbrin. Now, all right, Miss Stewart, I'm prepared to do my job, but if I have any trouble with you whatsoever, I'll go straight back to Baltic Trading and tell them to send another boy. No, wait, please. I'm sorry. It's just that I didn't expect them to send a man like you. Your type, I mean. My type? What is my type, Miss Stewart? What do you expect me to do? Come on to the music of the sabre dance with a sword in one hand and a bottle of vodka in the other? I like you. In fact, I think I like you very much. I'm not here to be liked. I have to be careful. It's too late to be careful. You'll just obey orders. Well, what do you expect me to do? If Ramphy finds out that I'm just using him as a stopgap, he's got me pretty well locked in here. If I try to use my passport... What passport are you traveling on? British. Do you have it? Yes, here, my darling. All right, give it to me. Now, listen, this is what I want you to do. Persuade Ramphy to take you to the races tomorrow afternoon, 4.30. What about my clothes? Oh, sorry, you'll have to leave those behind. But don't worry, I'm sure that somebody up there will supply you with a new wardrobe. Will... Will you be traveling all the way with me? Yes. All the way. Very good of you to drop me at the airport, Mr. Ramphy. Not at all, on the way to the races. And it's a pleasure to drop you at an airport. I'm obliged. Uh, Vanessa. After you, Mrs. Ramphy. Yes, Mr. Denton. Sorry you have to leave so suddenly. By the way, you never did explain the business that brought you here. <laughs> to Mr. Ramphy, just get out, please. And you too, Mrs. Ramphy, if you please. We uh, just want to borrow your car. Do as you're told and no one will get hurt. Uh, quick, Vanessa, here, before anything happens to you. Nothing's going to happen to me. Goodbye, Mr. Ramphy. Miss Stewart, we'll write and thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Ramphy. Over there, if you please, quickly. Thank you very much. All right. <laughs> Eight hours later, we were back in London. Mr. Hardy was right on his usual form. You betrayed your country, Miss Stewart. I did not betray my country. I'm not a British subject. Well, whatever you are, you were traveling in Greece under the protection of a British passport. Passport, please, Jay. Hmm? The passport. Oh, she destroyed it. Oh, sir, the great John Drake has slipped up at last. Well, this is 5,000 pounds you do not get. Uh, you can't win them all, can you, Mr. Hardy? We still have a charge against you, Miss Stewart. You wait in here with her. You knew I was bringing you back to England, didn't you? Yes. You knew it before we got on the plane? Yes. Why did you come? That little man. Hmm? I no longer want to be the cause why men like that should die. Why did you do that? Hardy would have used it to get you another eight years, and uh, that would never do.
Thank <laughs> you.